So you've been hurt on the job and you've been treating with a doctor for a while. Let's say you've had a surgery and you know, a pretty significant surgery and your doctor is holding you out from work and you're getting your checks every week and everything looks good and suddenly you know, your doctor's already started talking to you about well I think the next visit we're going to talk about releasing you to something called light duty. What does that mean? And what implications does it have for your claim, particularly in Virginia? Hi, I'm Joe Miller, workers' compensation attorney, Virginia, North Carolina. I'm here to talk to you today about a very important subject. I think it's probably one of the most important subjects that you could ever talk about in workers' compensation, uh, and that is the subject of light duty. First of all, what, let's define what we're talking about light duty. Okay? You have really two different completely separate ideas about when a doctor has you under restrictions. Okay, one is going to be the doctor is saying no work of any kind, no duty. Your, your doctor's filling out you know, the work notes, and by the way, we have other videos here. I'm going to emphasize this to you as many times as I can. Always, always get a copy of your work note when you leave the doctor's office. Don't ever leave the doc your main treating physician's office without a work note. I don't care if the nurse case manager says she'll get you a copy. Don't listen to that. You get your copy. And if you're, we're representing you, we insist that you get us a copy. Let's say the work note says no duty. No duty means no work at all. Now, let's say the doctor ends up saying, can I uh, return to previous job at this time? Is that the same thing as no duty? The answer is no. Okay, the doctor's not said you can't work at all. The doctor has said you can't do your previous job. So you've got to clarify it with the doctor. Okay, well, if you see the doctor putting something down like can't return to his job at this time, that's not really very helpful because, well, the doctor hasn't said uh, that you can't do any work. He just said you can't do your job. Well, if your job is, you know, going up on a roof and roofing, you may be able to sit at a desk and do work. So you've got to find out from the doctor um, what it is that you can and can't do. So most doctors are, are wise enough on this that if they've got something other than no duty to say, they have a place on these work notes to put uh, your, what they call your work restrictions. And it'll say something like, you know, 20 pound lifting restriction, no bending, no stooping, um, no uh, cr climbing, no crawling, something like that. Um, and that's what we call light duty, all right? When the doctor gives you restrictions other than no work at all. In Virginia, the key question with respect to light duty is this. Are you under a finalized award? Say it again. Are you under a finalized award from the commission? Now, we have other videos that talk at length about what awards are, and I would direct you to those videos because I'm not going to get into it too much now. But basically, what an award is is a proclamation from the commission that you're entitled to these benefits, you're entitled to get your workers' comp check every week on an ongoing basis unless and until you can return to, this is the key, pre-injury employment, all right? Pre-injury employment, which means you can go back to full duty, all right? So unless and until the doctor says you can go back to full duty and you're under an award that says that, they gotta continue to pay you. If you're under a finalized award and you get released to light duty, usually not much happens. You continue to get your checks. Some employers will accommodate you. What that means is they will say, okay, we got something for you, you gotta come on back to work. Okay, and they may put you into a difficult job, you know, something that you really don't wanna do. I've seen employers do stupid stuff like put people in a trailer and just have them sit there and do nothing all day, which is awful. But, you know, this is what they will often have people do. Most employers uh, will not do that, and the reason being, from an insurance perspective, it's risky. Uh, if you have a severe injury and you're on the work site and you get hurt again, now they're gonna deal with another injury, a second work injury. So now that's the first scenario, you're under an award. Most cases, you're gonna to continue to get your checks if you're released to light duty. But let's assume the other situation, you are not under an award, okay? Either the employer has denied the claim or you just didn't know that you were supposed to get under an award, you knew nothing about it, you just assumed that they're paying for your weekly checks, they're paying you weekly checks, they're paying for all your surgeries, so everything must be okay. This is what many people think uh, when they call our office and ask if we can help them. Uh, and unfortunately, what often happens, the day comes when they're released to light duty and kaboom, that hydrogen bomb goes off 
and they don't get their checks anymore. And oftentimes what will happen is the adjuster will not answer their calls. They're calling here in a panic going, I haven't gotten my check in two weeks, three weeks. What the heck happened? The answer is you were released to light duty under no, and you had no award. Okay, what does that mean? Remember we said a moment ago that the award in Virginia is the proclamation by the workers' compensation insurance company that you are entitled to ongoing benefits unless and until the employer can show that you are capable of doing your pre-injury work, okay? Now, in this situation, there's been no such proclamation where you don't have an award, so really, my friend, you have no rights. What you have to do in that situation, if you've been released to light duty, assuming the employer has nothing for you in, uh, you know, in light duty, um, then what you have to do is you have to basically be your own vocational rehabilitation person. You have to prove to the commission and that you have been released to light duty, the employer has nothing for you, and you've looked for work within your restrictions, and you can't find work. We represent people that have no award yet uh, who have been released to light duty, and we, what ends up happening is we're going to have to go ahead and schedule a hearing so that we can prove that they're entitled to benefits because if you're not under award and you've been released to light duty, I, in most circumstances, in 98% of the circumstances, they're not going to agree to an award okay they're going to make you go to a hearing and make you prove that you have been looking for work within your restrictions okay and we have again we have other videos also on that subject which I'd encourage you to look at that gets more into the details of how you do that and how you prove that before the Commission I hope this has been helpful for you uh, to understand the whole idea behind light duty and the implications that it can have for your case you've been hurt on the job or a loved one you know you know a loved one or someone you know has been hurt on the job, please don't hesitate to call us. Uh, we're here to answer your questions. We're here to disseminate this information because it's so important that people understand what this means. And it's so important for you to understand whether you're under an award or not. And if you're not under an award, you need to get under an award and we can help you hopefully do that. Thank you for watching. Joe Miller out.